Mrs. Katrina here, everybody. And you know what? I am holding a microphone. Yes, because it is time for our song. Hit it! Okay, everybody. I think you know what our song is about. Now, I want you to actually stand up, get some space, and dance with Mrs. Katrina on this one. I know you are very familiar. It's Wheels on the Bus. Here we go! letter B, it's letter B, ba, 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 B. To make the B sound, give a strong air to that towards the outside, B, B. So the sound builds up in your throat and it goes B with the air. Very good. Now let's take a closer look at these vocabularies so that you can practice these sounds. Boys and girls, now that you know the sound of letter B, I am here to teach you words that will enrich your word powerhouse, your brain. So, the first word is B B banana. B B banana. Now here's a little something about bananas. Welcome to trivia time. Bananas help you become strong, active, and energetic. It also helps your brain fully develop because of its nutrients. Don't forget to eat your banana today. B, B, boy. Did you say it out loud? Now don't forget, practice makes perfect. So let's do it once more. B, B, boy. B, B, boy. Very good. 
The baby on the bus says wah 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 wah. Oh no! There was a baby in the bus that was crying a while ago. Can you help me stop her from crying? I want a balloon. The color starts with letter B. Oh, we have three balloons here. <clears throat> Why not we make a game out of it? Choose the balloon that has the color starting with letter B. And go! Very good! I know what you're thinking. Hmm, this one is red. Is it this one? Hmm, red, red, red. No, I don't think so. How about yellow? Hmm, Mrs. Katrina said to make the sound of letter B, you have to close your lip first to make the sound. So it's B. But this is yellow. Hmm. Oh, no. how about this one? This is a blue b b blue balloon. Very, very good. Now our baby will not be crying anymore with the blue balloon. So thank you very much for your help. Good job. Kids, it's our storytelling time. Open your ears, close the mouth, and throw the key. Listen up. Bart the Shark, written by Paul Shipton, illustrated by John Stewart, by Collins. The little green fish was afraid. She said, Bart the Shark is here. I saw him. We have to hide. The little red fish said, who is Bart the shark? The little green fish said, Bart the shark is big and bad. Bart the shark is feeling mad. The little red fish was afraid too. He swam and hid under a rock. Who is Bart the shark? said the little blue fish. The little green fish said, Bart the shark is big and strong. His teeth are sharp and very long. The little blue fish was afraid too. He swam and hid in some seaweed. A little pink crab came up to the little green fish. Who is Bart the shark? She said. The little green fish said, Bart the shark has a big black fin and lots of teeth in a horrid grin. Then she swam off and hid in a cave. But the little pink crab did not hide. I am not afraid of Bart the shark, she said. Then a big dark shape swam up was Bart the shark. He said, Bart the shark likes too much and much. Bart the shark is looking for lunch. Bart saw the little crab and swam at her with a hungry grin. The little crab gave him a nip on the end of his snout. Bart the shark did not like that at all. My snout, he said as he swam off. All the little fish swam out. Where is Bart the shark? Where is Bart the shark? Where is Bart the shark? Said the little green fish. The little pink crab gave a big smile. She said, Bart the shark likes to eat and swim, but he does not like food that snaps at him. Here, how big is Bart the shark? Is this big? He has the snout, long, sharp teeth, Ooh, horrid grin, big black fin, and 
mad and bad existence. Ooh, shark. The end. So boys and girls, that was a new song and of course a new letter which enriched your vocabulary. So, I'll see you next time. Practice makes perfect. Bye!